Hey guys, welcome to a Let's Play with just me, Liam. Uh, Chris and Scott are doing whatever they want to do. This is midweek recording, something quite special. Uh, I thought we'd play a bit of Faster Than Light. Uh, I have played this a little bit, as you can see I've unlocked a few of the ships, not many. Um, and uh, I've already taken the liberty of naming this ship. Scott's favourite beer, Scott and Chris, Beer Deluxe. And I'm obviously the captain, Chris is in there, Scott's in there too. Hopefully he won't, you know, ruin the flight for everyone. Um, stick it on normal mode because, you know, obviously easy is far too easy. I mean, it's not like I've not completed it on easy or something. But, you know, I, I haven't. It's quite difficult. Uh, I'm just going to be using the standard ship for the first run, and uh, we'll just take it from there. So if you haven't played this game before, uh, basically your mission is to carry some intelligence from Sector 1 to Sector 8, avoiding the uh, the rebels who are significantly better armed than you are, considering you're supposed to be the law enforcement or whatever, it makes no sense, but you're running. Uh, you've got your, your fuel up there, that's how many jumps you can make, that's how many missiles you got, and that's how many drones you got. I don't use drones at the moment because so I haven't got the thing, and I probably won't buy it. But if uh, if we do another playthrough, you might see a ship that has drones. So let's make a jump. Uh, no point in going to the store, since we haven't got any money, so let's just get into the middle. Oh no. Okay, so the combat in this game is quite simple. You've got your up to four weapons there. Each one shows you how much power you need. I've got three spare power, so I can put them there. Should have moved these guys earlier, but I forgot. Let's put Chris in the shields and Scott on the guns. And uh, we've got one power missing from the, the engines, but that just means that we're missing a bit of dodge and our fast and light drive won't charge up as quickly. Um, once that's charged up, you can leave the fight if you're losing. But we're probably going to win this, so it'll be okay. We'll shoot some missiles into their shields and shoot some lasers as well. Try and get them get that shield down, and then we can just take out the weapons. Now your shield, uh, your missiles are limited, so you can't just spam them. But you can spam your lasers as much as you want, and you just—it's fine. See, now they're pretty screwed. Got no shields, no weapons. All the men are in the shield room trying to fix it, but we can easily take it down. I don't actually think we need to waste a rocket, really, but I didn't actually remember what gun this had. This has a pretty good burst laser, shoots three times, and he ran away. Damn it, should have killed him. Oh well. Uh, yeah, we'll just jump. I've kind of, I've kind of messed up there a little bit. Uh, we'll go to distress. Hopefully, we can actually kill someone this time and get some scrap, which is this number up here, and then we can improve the ship a little bit or go to a shop and buy something. Uh, doo -doo. So this is an event, just a random event that you can get. These guys need some fuel. Uh, we've got quite a lot, so I want to give them some fuel, and they normally give you something. This time, it's been a weapon, so that's pretty good. Now, these uh, nebulas, uh, when you go through them, the this line will move slower. This is the rebel fleet that's catching you up, so I can afford to go backwards because once I go through the nebula, they, they'll slow down and I'll get time to get away from them. Uh, well, we'll intervene. Pause. You can pause the uh, combat whenever you want. It gives you time to think, which is quite important in this game because you could be dealing with fires or boarding parties or whatever, but nothing like that just yet. So we'll just shoot lasers at this thing until it dies. That's fine. Now, luckily enough, it's just a crappy little drone, but as we go on, it does get a bit harder. Do you notice there? My oxygen has been broken. 
that's quite an important thing for us, but not really for him, being as he's a robot. Uh, but it's fine, he can't steer now, so he can't jump till, uh, he can't do a fast and light jump. If your engine or your pilot goes out, you can't do a fast and light jump. So they're quite important things to target down if you get the message pop up saying that they're they're trying to run away. Again, my oxygen. It's almost as if this game wants to kill me. Can't imagine why. Uh, let's quickly nip to the store. Let's see what we've got. Uh, nothing useful. We can buy a load of stuff, we can fix a ship. Uh, maybe buy some some more rockets as well. As you see, everything uses scrap, so it's pretty important to try and keep as much as you can. We'll keep the fire bomb for now, it could come in useful, and I can't really get anything. The only other bit I haven't shown you is this bit, this is where we upgrade, again it needs scrap, but we kind of ran out. And you also need power, so you need to keep improving your reactor. These need extra power, uh, these don't need extra power even, these are just sort of like the level of the system, so the doors, the security sensors, and your piloting. The rest of them you need the extra power, and if you don't have it then you won't be able to activate them until you do. Uh, I'm not reading these because basically it'd be boring for you. I've not got that kind of voice. We'll just... We've been boarded. That's the punchline of that one. And Jesus Christ, we have been boarded. Four on three. Probably not the best thing. We have a med bay and they don't. Let's see if I can tease them out here. That would be good. If I can get them to fight in the med bay, I'll win because I'll heal and they won't. It's a bit of a cheat, but uh, when we're outnumbered like this, I don't think there's much option to do much else. Alright, that's all of them now in this room, so leave that guy one on one, go repair some stuff. There are also uh, more races than just human, we haven't seen any just yet. Um, and when we, get, when we get to see them, I'll explain the benefits of each race as I know them. What are you? You're the pilot, you're me. Come on Chris, fix it. What was Chris on? As you can see here, they uh, they level up depending on what they're doing. So Chris is really good at fighting and repairing and not so good on the shields. But it'll get better. Uh, I think it just gives you a, a little boost. Right. The only bad thing for us about Nebula is that um, certain systems like that, that's gone out. Um, and maybe other things will go out. It, it's quite a random game. Ah, so we found a friendly ship and we managed to catch it. Sometimes you won't be able to catch it and it'll just, it'll say it's disappeared into the fog. And we've gained a crew member. He is a rock man, which means he cannot be set on fire and he has quite a lot of health. However, he's slow as shit, so don't expect him to get anywhere quickly. Not the best for boarding parties or just, you know, rushing to anyone's defence, but he'll do back here because he's, he's near enough the oxygen and the engines to, to put out any fires as and when they come up. Should have really put the energy back into my uh, weapons, but it won't matter because I haven't got the, the upgrade. Uh, another a boring one. Black market, uh, no we want to keep our missiles, we've actually got missile launchers so let's get them back online. Got time to go to this one and then we'll go to the exit and call that part one. 
Um, somebody's in attack. Well, you've got to aid people that are under attack from pirates. Now, I'm not going to waste a missile like I was going to. This kind of ship has this green overshield, which uh, charges up every time it jumps into the faster than light thing. And uh, it takes like five hits, I think. Just leave the game paused for no reason. About five hits to, to get rid of it. Uh, so shooting a rocket will just waste the rocket really. Let's get you in there. Put auto fire on because I've obviously not got the skill to multitask. This is great but uh, if, I, if I shot with a rocket it would shoot the rocket obviously just over and over again. Which is uh, not optimal. We'll shoot one rocket and then we'll get rid of it. Lasers are almost ready. They haven't got any weapons now. There we go. So this is a win. Just gotta wait. Oh, my lasers. There we go. What did we get? Not a whole lot. But, is it enough? No, it's not even enough to upgrade anything yet. And we took a little bit of damage, so we'll probably need to save it to repair. Because normal's a bit of a bitch like that. Nah, freebies always good. I um, think I'll put 20 into the power, give us uh, full speed for what we're capable of now, and call that part one done. Uh, hopefully you'll come back and watch me try and get through part two without dying, like I've done this one. Uh, like I say, it's on normal difficulty, so I'm pretty guaranteed to get screwed at some point. But fingers crossed we'll get to the end and at least see the mothership of the enemies and get a chance of killing it. So, until next time, have fun.